everybody. So today, vi la, 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 today, today video. That's what it says. So today's video is going to be a current favourites video. I wanted to do like a monthly favourites this month for August, but I just didn't have enough products. And looking at it now, I'm like, do I really even need to do a current favourites? Probs not, but I just kind of wanted to film a video and I wanted to showcase with you guys just a few things I was loving this month. I figured that instead of doing like monthly favourites, if I don't have products to do a favourites video on, I will do like a uh, current favourites where I just kind of talk about current favourite products that I'm loving at the moment. However, not necessarily that I've just been loving like this month or that I've purchased this month, if that makes any sense. Sorry about my hair looking like a load of dog shit. Don't know what's going on with it. Let's just move on. So I'm going to start off firstly with just the makeup stuff that I have. As I said, I really don't have a lot, but I thought, well, I'll just do a, like a quick little mini video that's not like me rambling on for 10 hours, which is my normal video. So the first thing I've been liking is my Furless um, Makeup Kit. I don't think I've mentioned this in a favourites video before. But I have done a full review on this, so I'll leave the link down below. Um, it's just basically a really, really nice pink cased makeup kit. It comes with, I forget how many brushes, um, eight different brushes. And this is from furless.com.au, I believe it is, it is a makeup brand. And it comes with three face brushes and then five eye brushes. So as I said, I've done a full review on it, but I've been reaching for a lot of these brushes on a daily basis. I really, really like them. As I said in the video, they don't shed. They're very versatile, so you can use them for a bunch of different things. And I really, really like the fact that they come in this case because it just does not take up a lot of room. I don't have to worry about putting all of my makeup brushes in my little brush holder like I normally do I can just put them in this and I definitely recommend that if you are someone starting out on makeup brushes or if you're just looking for a nice kind of travel set um, that you check out the furless brushes because they're really good the next thing that I've been liking this month is this product which is the Australis full-on foundation stick it is the um, <coughs> <coughs> I do not like this for foundation. For somebody that doesn't have any problems on their skin, this would be okay, but for me, I just don't really like the way that it looks all over my face. Um, my skin and me have not been friends this month or for the last few months. It's been absolutely disgusting. But um, I have been using this for contouring. It is a bit darker than my skin. It would probably be okay um, when I have like a really dark fake tan on, but it's too dark for my skin anyway. They don't have a ton of colors, if I'm honest with you. But I've been kind of liking this for like cream contouring. I can't really contour at the moment because I have blemishes right where I contour and putting like a bronze color like this over the top wouldn't look very good. But I've just been getting my Real Techniques contour brush, swirling it around in here, and then kind of bronzing up my face. And I find it looks so much um, more natural Natural than using a powder bronzer and I think that if you kind of like that natural dewy look I definitely recommend going with like a foundation stick for contouring in comparison to a powder so this is okay for that um, I like the formula for bronzing and contouring I just don't like it for all over the face so if you've been thinking about getting it I mean you know you might like it I didn't like it but I do like it for contouring and I think it's cheaper than the Maybelline Fit Me sticks which a lot of people use for contouring so I'd recommend going with that. Next thing, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last favourites video, but I don't think I did. It is the Makeup Store or Makeup Studio, Makeup Studio Fluid Liner. And I got this when I was in beauty college. It's just basically a, a felt tip eyeliner and it's a liquid liner and it just is really really nice to use um, it's not bendy like some eyeliners are so you get a really really nice kind of control and I find that when I do a winged eyeliner which I'm still you know trying to learn and I'm not terrific at it but I find when I do it with this it just kind of looks a lot better and a lot more even and I don't have to like put tape or anything like that on my eyes in order to get a nice like line because it's just very very nice to use so if anyone can recommend a good liquid eyeliner that is felt tip where the brush doesn't bend, like it's not flimsy, um, let me know in the comments because I probably wouldn't go online to buy this again, but I really, really do like it. So if you can get your hands on this, definitely recommend that you do so. The next product I've been liking is the Savvy by Designer Brands Long Wearing Lip Liner. This is in the shade Cherry, and it's basically just a... Um, 
pretty much like a red. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It is a little drying um, and it's not the creamiest um, formulation so it doesn't go on super smooth but it is quite cheap so you'd expect that. But I really really like the colour of it. It's um, a blue toned like uh, a blue toned raspberry red so it's not going to make your teeth look yellow or anything like that. And um, I really, really like the colour. I kind of like lip liners sometimes because they're not as creamy as lipstick. So they kind of like stay in your lips and they don't look as intense as like a red lipstick. So you can kind of like get away with it a little bit more. But I really, really like the colour of it and it's cheap. And I definitely recommend you pick it up if you like red lip liners. And then the last product that I have is the Real Techniques um, Complexion Miracle Complexion Sponge. I think is what this is called. Mine's dirty. It solves for that. But this is basically like a dupe for the beauty blender it looks like the beauty blender um, when you look at it like that and then it has a slant on it and I really like this for blending out my under eye concealer and also for applying foundation I feel like when you use a sponge like this because you're meant to use it damp it really packs in the foundation so it looks very natural in your skin and like it's just like your skin but really nice but also because it adds that moisture and that kind of not water but like the moisture to your face it helps things to not look cakey so I really really like this for kind of like a very luminous glow on my foundation and it's a lot cheaper than the beauty blender and I personally prefer this over the beauty blender any day. So that is it for makeup. Now the next thing I've been liking this month is my new hair extensions from Hair Secrets Extensions. Once again I've done a full review on it so I won't go into it too much but I'm wearing the Ultimate Volume Set. I know you can't really see um, my hair extensions when I put them in but I'm wearing the Ultimate Volume Set in the shade. It was all a dream and I really like these extensions. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous they are very very thick they barely shed I've had them now for quite some time and they haven't shed like pretty much at all and I really like the color of them as well it pretty much matches my hair color to a T so I really really like these extensions I definitely recommend that you purchase them if you're looking for a set of extensions um, that you want to try out especially if you're Australian and you're looking for more of the local brand these ones are really really good and then the last favorite that I wanted to mention was a YouTube favorite and one of the things that I've really been enjoying this month is um, um, the vlogs from Julie G. Julie G is a YouTuber. She's been on YouTube for quite some time and I knew about her but I was never subscribed to her until this month because I came across, um, she was doing Vloggist which is like where you vlog every single day in August and I came across one of her vlogs and I watched them and then I was just so hooked on them. Every single morning when I got up and like watched YouTube videos I would always watch her video first. I just really really enjoyed them and I'm so sad that they're over. I think she's going to start vlogging like once a week now but I really enjoy her daily vlogs and I like her vlogs because some people that do like daily vlogging they're always like they seem to always be doing really exciting things and like they always seem to be out and about you know like doing these amazing exciting things and you kind of get a bit jealous of them because you're like gee all I do is like go to work and like come home and do this and that but that's not really what like everyone's life is and Julie really showed that in her vlogs I feel like she would just basically vlog her life and her dog Brady who I think is the cutest thing ever and you know she's so down to earth and so nice and she'd just vlog her days like going to the gym getting up like pottering around the house and just kind of things that everybody actually does and it's relatable and I really really enjoyed watching them. So I definitely recommend if you didn't get to catch up on watching her vlogs when she was doing them definitely go and watch them. I'll put the link to her channel down below but you probably all know about her anyway but I really enjoyed watching them and yeah she's just really down to earth and really lovely and you can tell that you know YouTube hasn't gone to her head which I think is really really nice these days. So that's it for this video. I know it was kind of short as I said and kind of a bit all over the place but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things I liked because I like doing favorites videos and when I don't do them and I see everyone else doing them I get jello so I thought I'll just I'll just show you guys some stuff okay that's it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very very soon bye problems what is oh, I just ate in a Brazil nut I think it's gone to my throat problems on their skin <laughs> It's a bit darker than my skin. It would probably be okay 